The story of jellyfish started over 500 million years ago as simple aquatic organisms. Early jellyfish likely lived in warm, tropical seas where food was abundant. These waters were rich in nutrients, making them perfect for jellyfish to evolve and diversify over millions of years. When jellyfish are young larvae, they attach themselves to hard surfaces and grow using food from the environment. At this stage, they eat tiny organisms like microplankton and small organic particles that they absorb through their thin skin. One interesting thing about young jellyfish is that they can't swim like adults. Instead, they rely entirely on ocean currents to move around during their development. Jellyfish can have very different lifespans depending on their species. Some may only live for a few hours, while others can survive for many years. For example, the smallest hydrozoan jellyfish might only last a single day, while deep-sea Stygiomedusa gigantea jellyfish can live for more than 50 years. How long they live depends on various factors like their size, where they live, how much food is available, and whether they face threats from predators. Jellyfish don't have complicated organs, but they do have special cells that can sting prey, simple nerves for sensing their surroundings, and smooth, see-through bodies that pulsate to help them move through the water. Jellyfish catch their food, like small fish, plankton, and crustaceans, by using stinging cells called nematocysts. These cells contain coiled venom-filled harpoons that shoot out when they touch something. Once the prey is paralyzed or killed, the jellyfish guides it down to its digestive cavity. Because jellyfish filter seawater as they eat, they can survive on tiny plankton and particles too small for larger predators to bother with. Most jellyfish reproduce by releasing eggs and sperm into the water, where they fertilize externally. However, some species of moon jellyfish can essentially make copies of themselves without needing to mate, especially under favorable conditions. What's unique about jellyfish is their complex life cycle, which involves switching between small stalked polyps that grow clone colonies and free-floating medusa forms that leave to produce more jellyfish. The earliest interactions between jellyfish and humans probably involved painful stings for people who weren't expecting them, like beachgoers or fishermen pulling up nets filled with jellyfish. However, sometimes jellyfish would arrive as unusual seasonal gifts, such as when fish eggs were attached to them. Coastal communities learned to enjoy these gifts through knowledge passed down over generations. Due to our limited understanding of ancient life forms, no civilization specifically worshipped jellyfish or left records of beliefs about these common sea creatures. However, the enduring existence and simple body structure of jellyfish informally connect with certain philosophical ideas found across different cultures. There aren't any major historical events that solely focus on jellyfish. However, modern media sometimes highlights seasonal increases in jellyfish populations. This can lead to attention-grabbing stories about tourists, fisheries, or even power plants dealing with large numbers of stinging cells that block pipes or pose threats to industries. These events often happen without human influence and require adaptation to natural cycles, much like the moon's phases. While jellyfish as a group have existed for over 500 million years and are generally not at risk, specific species of jellyfish in certain areas are facing declines. This is due to factors such as excessive harvesting for food markets. Warmer seas and overfishing can also cause jellyfish populations to increase, as they are resilient to these conditions. Additionally, there's a constant risk of jellyfish becoming bycatch or consuming microplastics, which humans are introducing into once pristine marine environments. 
Throughout countless eons, jellyfish have endured cataclysmic extinction events that wiped out up to 95% of marine life. Today, human activities like coastal development, industrial fishing, pollution, and climate change pose threats to the remaining habitats and life still recovering from ancient upheavals, which predate even the existence of dinosaurs or mammals like us, as we strive to grasp the vast complexity of our living oceans. Despite their simple individual forms, cyclical swarms of jellyfish play crucial roles in ecosystems. They act as both predators and prey, sustaining food chains and maintaining ocean balance. Our improved understanding of their life cycles now serves as indicators of global climate change, showing signs of imbalance in once-rich seascapes known for their enduring abundance. The mesmerizing appearance and graceful movement of jellyfish spark deep fascination and admiration. Who can witness the delicate tendrils drifting beneath the waves during low tides or gliding through the depths without feeling awe? Beyond their beauty, our modern understanding of the vital environmental roles played by jellyfish should encourage us to embrace shared responsibility for ocean conservation. The unique biology and specific needs of jellyfish make it impractical for individuals to responsibly own them. Instead, public aquariums with trained experts offer engaging exhibits featuring rescued jellyfish. These exhibits not only entertain but also contribute to conservation efforts through research and breeding programs aimed at restoring wild populations affected by human activities. Sightings of jellyfish in unexpected places sometimes make headlines. It is hoped that there will be fewer reactive reports and more focus on protecting the ocean environments that support seasonal jellyfish populations near shorelines. These areas are increasingly recognized as crucial ecosystems vulnerable to the impacts of human activity, such as chemical pollution disrupting reproductive cycles and microplastics affecting food chains, altering marine environments faster than species can adapt. Scientists prioritize studying jellyfish ecology because they are indicators of climate change. Changes in jellyfish populations reflect shifts in ocean conditions, such as warming temperatures and decreased oxygen levels due to overfishing. Researchers also study the toxins in jellyfish tentacles to develop medical treatments and explore their bioluminescent properties for innovative technologies. Additionally, they investigate jellyfish evolution and model fluid dynamics to improve robotics design. Current research shows that jellyfish mainly operate through automatic responses, using simple nervous systems. Unlike mammals or some mollusks, they don't have complex brains, so they don't show behaviors like memory or social learning. These abilities are missing in jellyfish, which drift through the seas with their symmetrical bodies. But there's still a lot to learn about their life cycles, which have adapted over 500 million years, giving us only glimpses into the ocean's depths. Global efforts to protect marine ecosystems aim to help jellyfish populations and other less obvious species. But we need more support to understand the challenges jellyfish face due to ongoing changes in their environments. Even people far from the coast can help by pushing for political changes to reduce industrial harvesting and pollution, supporting sustainable innovations, or simply cleaning up beach plastics. These actions are crucial as our oceans struggle with microplastics, endangering much more than just beach enjoyment. You can see jellyfish in many places along the ocean coast, especially on tropical reefs. They're often found on sandy beaches, below cliffs with anemones, and even in aquariums. But we must remember that the abundance we once enjoyed is disappearing, and we must pay attention to the warning signs of disappearing marine life before it's too late. 
So jellyfish act as windows into our deep connection with the ancient marine world, which predates and will likely outlast our recent human history. Despite surviving past catastrophes that wiped out countless species, today's rapid changes are outpacing their ability to adapt. In our lifetime, our appreciation and responsibility for these creatures hinge on remembering the allure of the sea and our duty to conserve and protect its inhabitants. The ocean holds countless species yet to be discovered or understood, and it's our collective commitment that will determine their fate. Let us not be swayed by short-term comforts or distractions, but strive for unity and perseverance, knowing that our actions will shape the future of marine life for generations to come. Drop a comment below and tell us what you think about jellyfish. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more incredible content here on Earth Plus. Click on the next video to keep exploring the wonders of life on Earth or dive into our playlist for a stream of curiosity. Thanks for joining us on this video, and until next time, have a good day.